Hello everyone, welcome back. This is uh, Paul Walker here for video number 16 in this 100 day video challenge. And uh, today, in today's video, again, it's a follow up from yesterday's video, which was uh, yesterday was all about you know setting up that business plan with your new prospects. So they've just come into your team, they've signed on the dotted line, they've got their get, get started uh, product or emails, whatever the case may be. What I like to do, and as I explained in, in yesterday's video, is really sit down with that individual or that couple and really sort of map out you know, what it is that they want to achieve in the first you know, 30 to 90 days, okay? And that's monetary goal, you know, recognition, rewards, any of that type of stuff, we're really breaking that down. So if you missed that, please go back and watch uh, video number 15 where I sort of give you that little tip there of setting up a business meeting, setting up a business plan meeting with your prospects. And in that actual video, I came across uh, and I guess discussed, you know, once you sort of go through and break everything down, you get to a point where you're trying to discover that person's why, okay? I mean, hopefully you've done that already in the interview sort of qualifying stages, but again, this is a great opportunity to really go what I call next level deep, okay? So if someone says to you, you know, that they're doing this online business or this network marketing business because, you know, they want to earn more money, uh, maybe they want to travel the world. Maybe they want to retire themselves from having to work or retire their spouse from having to work, okay? Maybe it's putting their kids through college or giving their kids, you know, stuff that they never had as, as a child as well. So whatever that reason is, obviously they're all great and valid reasons, but it needs it needs more. It needs some more substance to it, okay? So I talked about going next level deep with those reasons why. So this video is going to show you that. Now, I will say that this video might run... A little bit long than point per normal. I'm gonna try and keep it to about the sort of 10, 15 minute mark. But in saying that, it could run a little bit over time. Um, but if it does, it's gonna be well worth it. Okay, I will say that to you. Okay, so really, how to discover your why? And this, as I said, this applies to you yourself. Like, how do you discover your own why and really get down to, as I said, the core root of why you're doing this? Because, you know, in my experience, and I know for myself that. You know, when I was trying to really figure out my why, um, you know, things would change. You know, every couple of months, I'd think, oh, no, this that's the real reason why, and that's that's a strong reason why. And then, you know, a couple of weeks or a couple of months later, I'd, I'd sort of re rethink it or, I'd, or something when you know, I'd see something, and I'd go, oh, you know what, that that's my reason why. And I just, you know, it took me a long time to really, you know, break it down and really get down, as I said, to that core root. So I think if you, the quicker you can get there, obviously the better. Then you know exactly why it is that you're doing this business, why you're about to put in, you know, long hard hours, why you're going to go through some of the stress and some of the, you know, the brick walls and you know all that sort of stuff that you will face in this business. Okay, and it's in those moments that you really need to identify your why. You really need to know. I need. I can call upon it. I can visualize it. I can see it. I can feel it. And, you know, by doing so, we'll get you through those sort of tough times, okay? So, the quicker you can identify it, as I said, I think the easier and the better it will be for you in the long run. If, um, you know, if your why is just a very kind of wishy-washy, when I say when I say wishy-washy, you know, because I want to earn more money, okay, everyone wants pretty much to earn more money or everyone wants financial freedom or time freedom, but what does that actually mean? What is the dollar amount? Like, what is financial freedom to you? Because to one person, financial freedom could be an extra couple hundred bucks or an extra thousand or two a month just to be able to pay pay their bills and they continue to go to their job because maybe they really like their job and their job then just provides them, you know, entertainment money or, or vice versa, okay? Maybe someone's financial freedom is they want to be earning 10000 a month, 100000 a month. Maybe someone wants to be earning a million dollars a year, okay? So really, you need to define that, what that is for you. And by saying, I just want to have financial freedom, you know, unless you really get deep, it, it is a little bit wishy-washy, okay? It's the same with, you know, time freedom. You know, what is time freedom to you, okay? So what I'm about to show you is a little, um, a little strategy, uh, a technique, I guess, that I came across. Uh, so I can't take full credit for this, but what I will say is I've definitely tweaked it with, I guess a lot of different other people's um, input and influence from you know videos and things that I've seen really put this all together in one thing, and this is something that has really really helped me out. So, um, pardon me. So, what I'm going to show you, as I said, is something that I've constructed and put together, and I'm just going to run through 
the basic kind of format and layout of this. Now, my intention is that if this obviously gets a lot of questions and feedback and likes, um, then I'm happy to go through and, and actually spend you know, like an hour or something really going through in depth about this. So if you want to see more, if you'd like to see a webinar or something or a better training on this, then uh, certainly leave your comments below at the end of this video and you know, I'll look to get that organized for you. So what I'm going to do is going to hide my face. You're going to hear my voice and I'm going to bring up um, a little PowerPoint um, presentation here of, of what this basically is, okay? So... So what I call this is, it's it's titled The Winner's Bible, okay, and um, really this concept, as I said, came from a guy from a book that I read, which is entitled the same thing, it's called The Winner's Bible, uh, written by a guy called Dr. Kerry Spackman, okay, and that's spelled S-P-A-C-K-M-A-N, okay, Dr. Kerry Spackman, okay, and basically what he put together in this book was, he was, um, I guess, a psychologist of, of sorts and someone who obviously um, went and studied the brain and obviously how the brain kind of works and functions and obviously how it responds to positive and, and negative um, interactions and, and thinking and that type of stuff, okay? So what he's gone and done is written this book and really put this together because he was uh, approached by you know some high profile athletes and sports stars to really get into that sort of sports psychology and this is how this book kind of came about and how we kind of structured this format now if you go and get the book I believe it's available on Amazon um, and you know any sort of good bookstore should be able to order it in for you as well if you actually want the hard copy of it um, I sort of stumbled across this, uh, basically I was just sort of looking through, you know, the personal development sort of section of a bookstore, happened to see it and um, kind of read the blurb and, and, you know, the testimonials and stuff and really thought, hey, this could be something that could help me out. And and really, I think the, the purpose of this book, as I said, was put together so that anyone, whether you're an athlete or not, you really, if you're someone who wants to achieve, you know, great things in your life, wants to achieve more than what you have, yeah, this book was really designed to go in depth and really map out how to program your brain, how to put things in place, you know, that you that will trigger things in your brain to give you, you know, that positive response. Now, in the book, he does go quite in depth into some, you know, kind of terminology and and things about the brain. So, I've kind of stripped a lot of that sort of technical stuff out of it and really just trying to take the core principle about what he was talking about in that exercise or that chapter and then implement it into something that I can just sort of visually look at or something that I can read and, um, you know, obviously get the stimulation in my brain that I want from it, okay? But as I said, it's a really great book. He goes into a lot more detail than what I've put into my little uh, winner's Bible here. So I actually call mine my success story and, you know, I think it's, as I said, prevalent to me. Uh, but this will be really relevant to you if you call it, you know, my success story and you've got a picture of yourself because that's the, that's the sort of point. Put a picture of yourself on the front cover and obviously your name, okay? So, and what I do is, um, you're going to see this in, in a sort of PDF format, but I've actually printed this out and I actually have it in a hard copied uh, folder. So, let me just bring back my video. And where do I have it? Just down here. So I'll spin this around. So I've actually got this in a clear binder, um, clear binder folder. So let me just sort of spin this around so you can see. So there's my face. Go through pictures. You know, words, all that sort of stuff. Okay, and I'll go through in detail what this is, but I physically have this. Okay, and the reason why I do that, it actually forms part of my morning routine, which is my morning routine is as soon as I wake up out of bed, okay, um, even sometimes before I even go to the bathroom, before I even brush my teeth, that type of thing, I grab out my success story, I grab out my book, and I flip through it, okay, and there's a reason why, there's a reason why to that methodology, um, but I'll go through that in more detail in another time, but let's just get back to it just so you can see how I discover my why, okay, so Front page, and then this is really the blurb, okay? This is really the straight to the core of it. This is why I do what I do. This is this is the person that, you know, I continue to, to work towards becoming, okay? And as I said, I have some really positive affirmations here. Um, I talk about some of the crap that I've gone through in my life and, you know, how I've overcome that and also, you know, why people 
want to be attracted to me, not just in a physical sense or in a relationship sense, but in a business sense, you know, who are going to be the people that I attract to my business, okay, and I really, as I said, really sort of um, spell that out here, And okay, and I said, give myself positive positive affirmations and reinforcement here, okay, um, then I go into my goals, okay, what are my short-term goals, these are actually, um, I've modified my goals since then, uh, but this is just to give you an idea, right? So then I, sh I set my short-term goals so that I know every day what it is, what are the, you know, the, what are the first main goal or short-term goals that I'm working towards, okay? Then I go into long-term goals, okay? So what are my long-term go goals? All right, so we move through that. So again, I can flick through, I can see that. Again, and then my sort of three to five-year plan, you know, where I see myself being, what is it that I want to own, you know, what sort of business do I want, you know, where am I as a person and stuff, okay? Then I go into, again, really, and as I said, all this is about knowing your why and helping you discover your why. Even just doing these exercises to fill in these goals will help you discover your why, okay? So that's why I actually do this and it's why I see this and look at it every single day. Then what I go into is the people in my life that mean the most to me. And again, this really forms a big part of you know my personal reason why it's, and I look at it from a point of view that Mark Hobson actually sort of uh, made me aware of, which is sacrificing. You know, if I don't do what it is that I want to do, if I don't achieve my goals, who's going to suffer? Okay, who in my life is going to suffer because I don't become the person that I want to become? Okay, and so you know, I've got my mum, um, as you can see by the dates there, she actually um, has now passed away. And a lot of what I do now is really in the memory of my mum because she never got to see me as a person that you know, ultimately I wanted to become. So this is about becoming that person so that when she is sort of looking down on me, you know, I know that she can see, you know, the person that I am now. My sister, um, again, after my mum passed away, it was really just my sister and I. So I do a lot of things, you know, for her and for her family. You know, my niece, it's... You know, she's she's you know the star in my eye basically um, she means a lot to me so obviously I do a lot of my big reason why is, is for my niece you know I don't have children of my own anything like that so a lot of what I do is is obviously targeted towards you know providing her a future something that my sister and I you know sometimes we didn't get when we were kids you know so I want to make sure that she has anything and everything that she ever wants and at least has the opportunity to make choices and to make decisions okay so there she is again. And then I go into the material goals, okay? Um, you might think the picture of the money is tacky, but I'll go into more detail in another time why I actually have it there. But obviously, being this is the financial freedom. This is the aspect of why I want financial freedom, okay? Sports cars, you know, house. You know, I'm really into my guitars. These are guitars I'd love to own and obviously have the time to be able to, to actually play them a lot more than what I get to do right now. Again, holiday, multiple places throughout the year, different, you know, exotic locations, all that type of stuff. Again, sports cars, you know, this would be just be cool things for me to own and have, you know, in my life. Career goals, again, so what, you know, what does my internet business mean to me and what am I striving towards, you know, what, what sort of an earner do I want to be, what sort of milestones do I want to achieve, okay? And then within my career, what is it that I want to do and, you know, I'd love to be someone who can speak on a stage, you know, in front of 20, 30, 80,000 people, whatever the case may be, part of me really have that opportunity to, to tell my story and to know that my story is influencing maybe if it only if it's even just one person in this audience, you know. Um, so again, the visualization of me standing in front of that microphone, looking back out towards that crowd, you know. Uh, to be a bestseller, I'd love to have a book that, you know, gets on the bestseller um, bestseller table in, in America and stuff. Personal development goals. So again, where where do I want to go within myself? What are some things that I want to change? Where are some things that I know I can be better at or, or do a lot more consistently? And, and this is, again, reminds me and helps me construct that. And again, this forms part of my why. If I can be someone who, who is better than I was yesterday, someone who is more different, more focused, more consistent, you know, whatever the case may be, you know, that's, that's solidifying, you know, my reason why, and that's inspiring me to, to continue to work towards that. Heroes and mentors, again, so these are people that, you know, I work for in that a lot of what I do is, you know, for these people, but also 
who are the people that inspire me, who are the people through their training, their story, um, you know, inspire me to be bigger, better, bolder, you know, so again, my mum, you know, uh, and my sister, you know, Brennan Bouchard, love, love what that guy does, Mark Hoverson, you know, a personal uh, favourite of mine, you know, um, Vincent Ortega Jr., again, a great guy, great vision, great, you know, leadership, uh, Ray Higdon, again, a guy who just works, you know, that guy is just a workaholic, but obviously enjoys the fruits of his labour, you know, he's, um, James Heffield, massive, massive music fan, massive Metallica fan. Obviously, he's been through a lot of personal tragedy that, in a way, I can relate to. And obviously, for him to sort of go through and no compromises and be in one of the biggest bands in the world and certainly one of the biggest bands of all time, you know, this guy had to face a lot of fears and do a lot of things that a lot of people just aren't willing to do. So that that gives me inspiration, you know. Again, Dave Grohl, same same sort of thing, and obviously was in one of the biggest bands of all time, Nirvana, and, and watched the guy basically kill himself. And he's had to live through that, and he's come through the other side. And, and again, I can relate to certain aspects of his story. And then about identifying my strengths and weaknesses, you know, it, it's good to know what your strengths are because you want to keep playing t- towards them and using, the, using them and maximizing them as much as you can. And you want to be able to identify your weaknesses because we all have them. So if you can identify your weaknesses, you at least then know what you need to work on or what is a weakness where, um, you know, as I said, if, if, if you can identify it, maybe that's been the downfall, maybe that's been the, the, the part of your recruiting or the part of your business that isn't working for you and, and you just haven't identified yet. So identifying it will help you, you know, work on it and, and uh, make it better. Again, repeated mistakes, you know, just things that I know that I've continually done and that's led to, you know, downfall or making, you know, making mistakes over and over again and not identifying them and not working on towards, you know, rectifying those mistakes and identifying if I'm about to make that mistake, really just, you know, identifying that, hey, you know what's going to happen, so let's let's maybe think think about this for a second again. Skills I need to improve are areas that I know that, hey, I need to get better in or, you know, these are, these are skills I'd love to learn um, and, and that I don't, you know, that I don't know at the moment, but I'd love to, yeah, obviously have that under my belt as well. Again, unshakable belief in myself. I've got a picture of, um, you know, Mel Gibson, Braveheart there. Again, just sort of using the Braveheart story, you know, just what he had to go through to, you know, to really, if you look at the, the true story, was to, have Scotland be free of English rule to say that they were their own country and that they could govern and be responsible for themselves and to have one person really sort of stand up and against adversity from people in his own country, not not to mention obviously the people in England who didn't like that someone was standing up um, to them, you know, to be able to rally, you know, a country behind him, behind a belief, behind a vision that this guy had. You know, that's something that you can apply to any part of your life. And certainly what do I apply to my, you know, my personal life, my business. You know, I've got a vision and you should too. And there's going to be people who will see your vision. There'll be people who agree with it and, and want to help you achieve that vision. And there's going to be people who are going to stand in your way and say that they don't believe it and they don't think that your vision should, you know, come to fruition. So are you going to listen to those naysayers and those negative people or are you going to fight for what you believe in? And this is what this picture, you know, basically represents to me. And again, just sort of going through some more positive um, affirmations and really just, you know, instilling in myself that, you know, this is possible. And if I just continue doing some core key things every single day, I'll get to where I want to go. Again, outlining my optimal future, my day, you know, what would I love to do if I could have no restraints? I've got all the money in the world that it makes me happy, you know, time on my side, all this sort of stuff, what would be, you know, my optimal day? And this is obviously what I work towards every single day. Now, do I live this every single day? Of course I don't, not yet, but this is what I work towards, okay? So just these little things, as I said, all this is really solidifying your reason why. And when you have those doubts, when you have those moments of negativity, you know, you can come back and you can flick through this and go, you know what, that's why, this is why I do that, okay? That person just gave me a negative comment and they got me down, but you know what? Screw that person. This is why I'm doing it, okay? So this is really the purpose of this whole success story, winner's Bible thing. And then, as I said, what I do in my morning routine, I look through this every morning when I first wake up, okay? So as soon as I get out of bed, 
Um, this even springs me out of bed. If I'm lying there kind of like, oh, okay, I'll get up in a couple of minutes, I think about this book and I think about, hey, this is five minutes that I'm wasting away. So this actually you know, forces me to jump out of bed, look through this, get into action, get pumped up for the day, and then you know, kick on with my day. And then I look at this before I go to bed. So again, I'll put it beside my bed. Before I'm about to switch the light off and go to bed, I actually flip through this again so that my brain is thinking about what I want in my sleep, in my subconscious again. Okay, so then when I wake up in the morning, my brain is kind of running off that um, energy and running off the, the plan of what I need to do. And then I relook at it in the morning and that just you know makes that plan concrete. Okay. So again, clear, clear plan to success. Again, this is just a couple of core elements I do. Um, I do and focus on every day to, to achieve what I want to achieve. And then wheel of life, this is just really having a balance. If you can imagine uh, a wheel like a pie and obviously your pie divided up into um, into core elements, you know, work and life and, you know, money and travel and just different things, you know, businesses, relationships, um, self-development, all that sort of stuff, you know making sure that I'm giving equal time or giving the right amount of time to the right, you know, sort of section of my wheel of life. Uh, interesting drivers, again, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but this is more about, as opposed to materialistic things, this is about, you know, rec as I said, recognition. This is about what drives me um, internally. It's not always the monetary material thing. Sometimes it's recognition. Sometimes it's just knowing that, you know, I, I could be the best at, at something or be the best within a system or whatever the case may be. Again, visual representation. You know, this is saying that I want to be a hundred thousand a month per earner. Okay, so it's visualizing and seeing that physical check. I've actually printed this page out and it sits above my desk here. Uh, so I look at this check. I touch it every day, going, you know what? This check, this check is going to come into my hand. You know, it's not that far away, and I'm going to go into a bank one day and I'm going to hand over that check and I'm going to cash that in. You know, so it's about being in the future. It's about already believing that this is happening to me. Okay. Again, a couple more affirmations and quotes, and then other, again, more affirmations and quotes from successful people, people that I admire, you know, Zig Ziglar, Robert Kiyosaki, you know, Will Smith, just other, you know, motivational things, Jim Rohn, you know, Kim Kiyosaki. Again, I've just got a couple of different pages there of, of um, quotes and affirmations and, and positive uh, reaffirmations that, as I said, really just helped me get through the day. And these are some of my core favorite ones that I can just flick through see one and go, you know what, that's exactly what I needed for today. So, um, And then this is just a final kind of like mission statement, final little letter to myself that, um, as I said, whatever I'm still just doubting myself, even if I've gone through all of that and I've still got a little bit of doubt, this is kind of that last, this is the last thing. This is really what, you know, rams at home for me. Okay, so that's how I discover my why. Um, and I use elements of that to help a person discover their why and, you know, to actually go through that sort of success story, that winner's Bible. I do that with, you know, my teammates and that's something that I implement into my business. I don't do it straight away, but I do it with the people who have been around, who've, you know, started to achieve some success. Um, these are the people that I'll actually go through that. But as I said, I hope that's helped you out. I've hoped you've, uh, I hope that's given you some ideas as to maybe, things that you can start implementing in your life and, and structuring that together. And then, as I said, if you'd like to know more detail, how I put that together and how I came to uh, really the words and the phrases and, and how I sort of construct all that, if you'd like to know more, then I'll do a webinar, I'll do a training on that. But um, just let me know, leave a comment below to say, Paul, want to see the training, want to see the training, want to see the webinar, whatever the case may be. And uh, I'll schedule a time to get that done and I'll go through more in depth with that. And obviously, if you guys have questions, want to know more about something specific, you know, I'll get those questions answered for you. So I hope that's helped you out. This has been a fantastic video number uh, 15. I've really enjoyed this one. And as I said, this is something that's really, really key, not only for you, the individual, but putting this together and helping your prospect, your new team member, you know, get to that point where they identify their why. And as I said, go that next level deeper, go two, three, whatever you need to do to get to that fire in the belly reason why. And once you get to that, as I said, it just makes things so much easier. And as I said, when you get to those negative points, you get to those points where you're backed in the corner and you're, you know, you're banging your head against a brick wall, you need to be able to visualize it. You need, you, you need to be able to recall you know, that why, that fire in the belly, 
And as I said, by doing that, that'll help you push through whatever that negative thing is. So hope that's helped that helped you out. Look forward to speaking to you guys all uh, for video number 16. All right, guys, have a great one. See you soon. Bye.